What's going on, family? Welcome back to Israel Smooth Reviews. And today we're going to be discussing a movie called Palmer. And this movie came out back in 2021, and this movie stars Justin Timberlake in one of the lead roles. Uh, this movie by far has to be one of his best movies. Before this, I saw Tr uh, Trouble with the Curve, which I thought he was phenomenal in, um, alongside Amy Adams in that film and, and Clint Eastwood. But this film, man, I think took him to new heights. Um, I honestly didn't know the man could act um, the way he did in this film, you know? I enjoy him thoroughly in his movies. I'm a big fan of his. I uh, love his music. I was one of those kids back in the day, uh, rocking to sync. And here he plays an ex-con with a heart of gold, you know? He um, definitely transforms himself to make himself not only sweet and heartwarming, but he comes off... He comes off as a great actor, not a decent actor in this film at all. And, you know, we're gonna get straight into it, you know, now, uh, this film to me was very surprising because it's not only to me his breakout performance, but I didn't know anything about this film, honestly, it's just one day. Um, recently, it was just, you know, at work, and um, I'm <laughs> just clicking by, you know, since we got everything, we got Apple, Sony, Prime and I was okay. This is a Jason, uh, Justin Bieber flick that um, I never saw the previews to or anything like that. So let me just put it on. And got to be fair, I, I wasn't expecting nothing. I wasn't expecting nothing at all. I was just let me entertain myself for, for the next few hours. And however, I'm not sure if my lack of expectation had an impact on my feelings about this film, or me not seeing the trailer or not even knowing anything about the film really drew me back. Um, I believe that not seeing a trailer or not seeing or hearing anything about the film really helped me in um, my viewing experience in this film. And thankfully the film is, um, is probably better than what I could even imagine. Um, this film for me, there's a breakout performance from Justin Timberlake by by far. Uh, you know, not for years. I, I thought that, you know, he appeared in films that basically helped his fame, um, especially, you know, around his talent, which to me, he has excellent comedic chops. Um, he, you know, he, he plays that cocky, self-centered, uh, gorgeous, handsome guy. And I don't know that he had another level to his performances. And to me, you know... Um, I've always taken him seriously in what he did, but this movie, I took him serious uh, throughout this film. You know, uh, I've never really taken him uh, that serious in, in general when it comes to his acting, because I, I believe he took, you know, jobs that he knew he could do well at. And this movie, man, Jesus, um, he's he's great. You know, it's a fantastic performance through and through. Uh, to me, he even deserved an award. You know, I'm not sure if he got one or not for this film, but. It's that Oscar worthy, you know, the performances in this film through and through, not only him, um, but the young boy in this film. And he's absolutely terrific. It's to me such an understated performance uh, for the majority that I feel like in future, I say in a few more years, this movie might be a, a classic, straight classic. I think that's how transforming and how phenomenal his performance was start to finish. Um, you know, if this is the level he can go to when it comes to his acting ability, I think we haven't seen anything yet, you know, from the, from liking the guy to not waiting to his next project, it tells you a lot, uh, regarding this film. Now, when it comes to the story, um, it's not as straightforward as you think, you know I mean? It does have its cliches, but overall there's ton of story, uh, in this film, which, I loved because, you know, that's why, you know, you get into thrillers or sometimes movies that have suspense and movies like this, man, they had such a story and such a message to really tell the world. And I loved it. Um, thankfully, all of the characters, all of them get their screen time. You know, nobody was short or I, I don't think anybody was sidelined in this film. The main focus is Palmer, Justin Timberlake's character, who basically he's getting out of prison and he's trying to restart his life. And you add the introduction of an abandoned little boy who lives next door. And I 
sympathize with that because, you know, when I was young, I was abandoned by my mom. And, um, you know, it was hard. It was hard not knowing why until I got older and getting to her story and seeing how it hurt my father and stuff like that. But, you know, I didn't have the the serious topics within myself or the serious thoughts that could allow me to even think further than that. I was just, okay, miss my mom. But, you know, I had a stepmother who was awesome. And um, I had siblings who, you know, helped me basically grow up in general, not uh, particularly missing my mom, especially. And then, you know, few, later down the line, I had my a real brother there also, who was a, a big part of my life and still a big part of my life. So, you know, they had the introduction of this abandoned little boy who lives next door and into Palmer and his grandmother's, he enters Palmer and um, the, his grandmother's life. And obviously the most serious topic of the film deals with the people being able to accept that the little boy, famous Sam, is, is gay. You know, it's a very difficult topic to get right into a sensitive one you know at that personally i felt the film handled it very well uh because it's not cliche anymore it's not taboo you know you got more people you know coming out nowadays and you got more people uh, uh representing the lgbt uh plus community and um i think i think films like this need need to be in the, in, the, in the world for, for people like not only myself of people that are ignorant to what you know gays go through on a consistent basis and I felt like this movie really portrayed that in a very uh, sensitive and very light way um, and however there's a section you know of our society that will hate this film regardless if it's handled well or not right because the sad truth is you know, people are ignorant. They're gonna dislike it because it's talking about a gay person or a gay little boy, or how can he be gay if he saw you this? You know, you have people with those stupid topics. And I believe if you're gay, you, you're born that way. You know what I mean? You know, you know. It might take you a while to come out because obviously, you know, it's a scary decision to make, especially in the world we live in. You have others who come out freely and kudos to you guys, you know? And, um, you know, the sad truth is, the sad truth about this film is that as you continue, you know, you have Sam's mother who's a, who's a druggie and she has a dodgy boyfriend. And um, then you deal with Justin Timberlake's love interest in this film. Then you have the whole topic of the social service, sis department, because the mother's a druggie. They're take away, trying to take away the son. The son doesn't know exactly who he is at this time. You know, there's a lot going on in the film. However, to me, all of it works because it works because they do this seamlessly in harmony. And all these decisions and threads have satisfying conclusions, which is rare to see in a film. Usually a film will go two thirds into it. Perfect film when it comes to the cinematography, the visuals, the music, the score and all that. And then when it gets to the third act, you're like, damn, what happened to this film? This film doesn't do that. This film really, really uh, helps you get through it in a very heartwarming and sweet way. I think as far as a child actor could go, I think this kid, uh, I think he knocked it out the park. You know, he, I think, did an awesome job. You know, JT, we already know about him. He's an incredible musician, humanitarian, and incredible actor uh, who's been, to me, overlooked by, you know, the Academy for a long time. And this was definitely an understated performance. You know, coming from a person who loved him from young, I, I believe he really deserved his 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 uh, his say in this, in this film. You know, I also have to mention the, the great writing and the directing to this film. Without them, I think both wouldn't be as effective, um, especially emotionally. You know, this movie made me cry numerous times. You really feel for all the parties involved. You know, you, you start to feel as a, as a father, it's like, damn, if my son felt this way, you know, how would I be able to help him out? And, um, you know, it really puts you in a different state of mind. And that's what I love about movies, man. You watch them for two hours, two hours and a half. And for me, this is my escapism, right? 
you go and you think your life is hard until you see something that you relate to, or something that you want to relate to, and um, or something that maybe a friend relates to, and you're like, wow, now I understand this, or something pops up in your mind, oh, you know, the other day I was in a pharmacy and this person was doing so and so, and I understand now. You know, it's movies like this that really give you that cringe worthy moment, like, damn, I could have did this better. I need to better myself. I need to educate myself on certain things. And to me, this movie did this exceptional. In the wrong hands, this film could have been horrible. This film could have been confusing or it could have been prioritized differently. You know, some elements of the film um, could come off as, you know, kind of a hindrance when it comes to uh, the gay community. But they, I think, personally, they did a phenomenal job. You know, overall, I gave this movie a 8 out of 10. You know, not only for its writing and directing, but to me, it was a surprisingly great film. And one that absolutely deserves, you know, incredible performances from Justin Timberlake and the young boy, who I thought was stellar. You know, not, not I ever thought I'd say that when it comes to a film that I knew nothing about. But to be honest, the acting was, you know, great overall. And what I loved about the film lastly was, you know, the, the complexity of the film. You know, it's a very in-depth uh, story to tell in such a, such a unique way. You know, uh, it's very relevant to this day, obviously. It keeps you interested. It's heartwarming. Obviously, when you have a heartwarming story, you, you know, you get emotionally involved. And with the great writing, trust me, you, you're not going to want to get up. You know, this film delivers what, what it's selling and then some very engaging, very sweet. Um, and I think this movie made Justin Timberlake a star. It's a solid drama with a lot of issues. And man, you know, starring in The Social Network back in 2010 and starring in films like Friends with Benefits, uh, Trouble with the Curve, like I mentioned before. And even in time, you watch these movies and you're like, okay, he's a really good actor. But, you know, when you, I think when he chooses his um, movies now in the future, I think that eventually he'll dig deeper into things that represent not only society, but something that really will make a difference in the world. Kudos to Justin Timberlake, definitely eight out of 10. And if you liked this video, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. And if you want more content from me, you already know. Just subscribe to the next one. Peace.